What's the most shocking yes you've ever received in response to asking something? Went to boss with details. 3 point presentation to ask for a ridiculous raise. But I had the numbers to back it up. Before I could even get started he's like yeah we need to fix this. What are you thinking I tell him my ludicrous number. And he's like okay that's good. I'll talk to HR today. Boom promoted. Never got to give that presentation though. But, my powerpoint. Asking my grandma all sorts of random questions, just to see, and when I asked, have you ever flown upside down, she replied, oh yes, I used to do that all the time her older brother flew a crop duster, and would take her up and practice stunts, great to hear as a 10 year old. Working at the electronics shop and have just finished setting up a washer dryer delivery, I asked, Anything else you wanted to check out before you pay 80 inch TV or something even chuckled when I said it jokingly. Guy looks at his wife and she just gives him a shrug. Yeah, why not I bring him over to it and ask if he had any questions. He looks to his wife again and I see her give him a nod. We want one of these delivered to- I was dumbfounded and I think they could tell how giddy I was. If you work on commission that's awesome. Me, you're home early. Have you been sacked while laughing? Dad, yes, the company has folded. As a 15 year old, I had no idea what to say, so I walked off. Was trying to buy a house 5 years ago and the banks weren't giving money to anyone that wasn't uber qualified. I was 27 and the house was almost 400k. The bank wanted an extra 25,000 down on top of the 40k I had. I told my boss the next day that he'd lose the offer in 3 days if I didn't have a dollar sign. Jokingly asked him for it, wrote me a check the next day, still blows me away. If your boss valued you as an employee, then he jumped at the chance to tie your butt down with a mortgage. I'll accept the position if you're willing to pay, number that represents bonkers raise. I really didn't want to change jobs, so I gave a big number to force a no. They said yes and I got a big pile of dollars. Had this happened to me, they made the initial offer and it was lower than what I was making at the then current job. I came back with a much high request that I thought was really high. They came back and said yes. I feel like I should have gone higher but whatever. <laughs> to my daughter, I don't understand why you keep going outside when you come home from school. It's well below freezing. How crazy could you be? I mean, is your mother beating you when you come home or something? Yes, while crying. And that's when I started the divorce process. Got custody of both kids and STB ex-wife can't be with them without a supervisor. Thank you for believing her. I was in my early 20s. I walked into a sheets while unemployed. I was in jeans and a t-shirt. And I hadn't shaved in days. I asked the manager, not being particularly serious, if they'd give me a job. Well, there's a new store opening up in a few months. They're starting to train managers for it now, I had mentioned, in our conversation, that I had an associate's degree in business management. We're only talking about a shift supervisor position here. Wasn't a straight up yes, but she put in a good word for me for no reason I can think of. After a year's unemployment, that's happened more often than I care to admit. I suddenly had a full time job making $12 an hour, plus quarterly profit sharing. It amounted to about 4 extra paychecks per year, as a supervisor, and health insurance. I'm a teacher. I asked my administrator permission to teach the graphic novel Moors to my AP English 3 class, not particularly expecting to get permission. Not only did I get a yes, but it's worked in class really, really well. Wait, so you had a call from Google saying your account was compromised? And they wanted to remote into your computer? Did you let them in? Yes. Nothing is more infuriating at times than working in a call center doing tech support. You didn't pick me up at the airport with 3 pounds of weed in the trunk did you? My roommate in undergrad was a rather charming character. I don't always drive the speed limit, but when I do there are illegal substances in the car. At a cafe for seemingly innocuous lunch. Mom, son, your father and I, me, haha, ha, what are you getting divorced or something else? It was an awkward way to find out after they'd been married 20 years. Oh man, at least your mom had the guts to tell you. I learned it on the drive into school, because my dad was sobbing uncontrollably, 20 years down the drain. 
a job I had about 4 years ago, abruptly out of a fit of built up rage, approached my boss and said, I don't like how crap is getting run around here and I want a promotion, promoted on the spot. This big guy came out of darkness near my house while I was walking to work one morning walking right toward me, asked if he could use my phone. I lied and told him I didn't have a phone. Then he stood there kind of imposing and expectant and asked if I could give him some money. Are you mugging me? Maybe. No. Yes. I don't know. Not a verbal yes, but a girl I was seeing was the only person that drank during a game of Never Have I Ever when someone brought up debauchery. On a side note, if you're ever playing Never Have I Ever, don't bring up rape. It can make for an extremely awkward moment. Yeah, that's a dong move. You want to come back to my place and meet my cats? I am not at all skilled at pick up lines. Christ, this turned into my most popular comment. I would invite all of you interested ladies over to meet my cats, but I'm still with the girl I used the line on. Turned out she doesn't actually like cats at all. Not gonna lie, this would totally work on me. Can I drive your car? Context, I was about 17 and played on an indoor soccer team with a bunch of guys age 25-35ish. One of them ran a very successful software company and had several awesome cars. Ferrari, Lambo, Viper, Corvette. He always drove one to the games, and as my friends and I were leaving post-game, I asked him that question, expecting an amused no. Went like this. Can I drive your car? Can you drive stick? Comma yes. Throws keys. I got to drive a brand new Viper at age 17 for about half an hour. Awesome. Her. I have a question. Me. Is it about pies? Her. Yes. Confused silence. Homer asks this in response to her I have a question. In the episode in which he is an outsider artist. I have asked that question in response to I have a question for many years. Probably hundreds or thousands of times. Eventually, the question was actually about pies. Best answer here. Will you pay me $20 if I go and talk to that old lady over there? Made a great $20 and a friend. Apparently no one would talk to her except her family. Apparently no one would talk to her except her family. About to go on a tangent here. See, people talk about how it's sad that people don't talk to old people. Or that no one comes to visit them or anything. But, heck. People don't talk to people much. Aside from work. If I didn't go out of my way to socialize, after a while I wouldn't have anyone speaking with me, either. Hottest waitress I know went to Summerfest with me with almost zero notice. It was like an hour before the show and I was asking everyone I knew. I had chatted with her a few times but never hung out outside the bar. Needless to say I was pretty shocked when she said yeah. Good job, Charlie. On a first date with this girl I never thought would go out with me. I casually asked if she would like to take a bath with me. Her exact words were, well, hop to it, in November we will celebrate our 45th anniversary. I'm still shocked that she said yes. I've been living with my boyfriend, ex, for the past year. He was recently diagnosed with diabetes, although he already suffers from anxiety, depression, and issues with his weight. I guess all of this was taking its toll and I could tell that he wasn't as into the relationship as we both wanted him to be. After a particularly rough afternoon, we came home and had a serious discussion. I asked him, would it be easier to focus on yourself if I wasn't here? I don't want you to tell me what I want to hear. I want the truth. He said, yes, that hurt. It may have hurt but at least he didn't put all of his problems on you and make him getting better your responsibility. Sometimes people need to heal themselves. It's the only way some people can help themselves permanently. I was at a girl's birthday party and she was complaining that she didn't have anybody to frick on her birthday. I happened to be standing in the right place at the right time. I replied to her. Wanna go frick she said. Come on. Let's go. I had never met this person prior to that night. I loved telling that story. 90% of success is just showing up. You're telling me I get to play a round of golf with the Morgan Freeman? Yes. I get to play golf with God? Yes. Coolest four and a half hours of my life. I asked my fiance at the time if he was sleeping with my best friend. I think in the back of my mind, I had to have known it would be a yes. 
but I was really hoping it was a no. I already knew that he was cheating on me. One of the girls, yes, one of Mena had called our house while he was out and was surprised her new boyfriend had a live-in girlfriend. She told me he was also seeing this other girl, and the description matched that of my best friend but also his ex-girlfriend. I was hoping, if it had to be anybody, that it would be his ex. Nope. Ah well. We broke it off and I moved on. I have a wonderful husband now, and we have a great marriage with none of that bulls. I yelled to my brother to ask if he wanted pizza. He said yes. What I didn't know was that he was right behind me. Scared the crap out of me. Out parents never bought me and my brother sugary cereal or snacks as kids chocolate pop tarts. Gushers. Fruit by the foot. One time they agreed to our demands of a 3 pack of Captain Crunch. It was a glorious next couple of weeks for our household. I was at a party. Pretty drunk and one of my mates and this girl wander off upstairs to the bedroom. After about half an hour or so she walks back in. I stand up and say my turn next trying to get a laugh. She shrugs and says sure thing. I sit in shocked silence. Flapping my jaw for a good 10 seconds before doing my best Hugh Grant impression going oh. Oh. Uh, wow. I mean. A uh, thanks very much and. Obviously you're very attractive and all but. I'm probably not just right now if that's okay. My mates were pee themselves throughout. She definitely won the joke. Started a new job. At the end of the first week. Which I felt went really well. The seer. To whom I reported. Called me into his office to ask me how I thought things had gone. I smiled warmly and enthusiastically and told him I thought things had gone great. That I liked being there and was looking forward to the following week. He frowned and told me that his opinion was different. And then proceed to go down a laundry list of things I done wrong. Such offenses as not coming into his office in the mornings to say hello. And arriving at 745. 15 minutes prior to my scheduled start. Instead of half an hour prior. Apparently. Although my hours were 8 to 5. He expected me there by 730. All my offenses were petty bulls which. Had he outlined his expectations at any point during the week. I would have obliged. Thus began a terroristic reign. Nothing I did was good enough. And by the end of the third week I was leaving and tears on the daily. After having been screamed at and ridiculed for minor. Minor crap all day every day. At week 4. When he docked my pay for Thanksgiving and the day after. I was a salaried employee. I fought with HR and got the pay and then started job hunting. At week 6. I went in and said basically this. So I think we can both agree that this isn't working out. I'm willing to leave today. But I'd appreciate being given 4 weeks severance. Since it's the holiday season and it may take me a while to find a job. Within an hour I had a check in my hand. And within 48 I had 4 offers elsewhere. To my sister. Are you pregnant only because it was a joke after I had a dream the night before about it. It turns out she had only told my parents a day or two before and it was still supposed to be a secret. <laughs> me. On the way home from a day trip to Chicago. Dad. Can we go see the new Michael Jordan statue outside the United Center? Dad. Sure. Also. It just so happens. Reaches into his pocket. We're going to the game too. Best day ever. Friend asked me if I'd go with him tell his parents he'd knocked up his girlfriend. We were both 15. I surprised myself saying yes. We're still best friends. My parents were disagreeing over how to split their assets evenly in the divorce. I asked if I could have the newest car so they'd be even. I was doing a travel nurse position and they needed someone just an hour north of where I was in the same hospital system. But I turned it down a few times. They ended up giving me two plane tickets home to see my husband, increase an hourly wage, and provided a substitute travel nurse for two weeks because I had already planned a camping trip to Colorado with my husband. I never ask for anything on my assignments just safe housing that will allow dogs or I find it myself. It was the day after I got my driver's license and I asked Mida if I could go to my girlfriend's house. He just said take the car it was the best feeling ever. It wasn't a yes technically but I think it fits. Just talking to a co-worker of mine who I'd known for nearly 6 months when we're telling really fricked up jokes. One of hers was about physical shaming. I don't know what compelled me to ask but I asked her if she was ever physically shamed. I felt like the shittiest friend ever after she said yes. 
I still kick myself for asking that. There was no reason for me to. There was also another time she said yes to a crappy question I asked that shocked me but it's nothing compared to being physically shamed. She may have wanted to talk about it, or at least to tell you about it, since she was making jokes about it. All you really have to say is I'm sorry that happened to you. I doubled my salary by total accident. I was making 27k a year and was applying to an industrial engineering job over the phone when the job market was bad. They asked my current salary, to which I responded about 27th or and he cut me off saying $27 an hour, we can work with that. 27k a year is about 13 per hour. They ended up offering me 25 per hour. The next part is what actually applies to the topic. I asked if they had any leads on cheap places to live, and they threw in a studio apartment that would have rented at $500 a month. Kinda crappy apartment, but free. In high school. Does anybody have a microwave weird kid raises his hand mines in my locker, but you can borrow it. TLDR I borrowed the weird kid's microwave. My now girlfriend saying yes when I asked her out. I'm just this thin, weak nerd, who loves science fiction and she's this incredibly beautiful, smart, funny girl. After I got the balls to ask her, she said yes almost instantly and I was shocked. I think I stared at her for a good 2-3 to three minutes before I realized what happened. It turns out she's liked me for a long time. It still feels unreal. I don't think I'm you, if you're about to ask. Apparently I could be several other people. Odd, if you are in a similar situation, but are not with the girl, PM me. I love hearing stories like this and I'd be happy to help. I can tell you what I did step by step. Maybe it'll help you guys. Living the dream man. Pulled off a 48 hours in Mexico once. Was dancing with a smoking hot American girl. Didn't have very long in the town so I decided to go with an Eddie Murphy in 48 hours. You know, there's a hotel right across the street. Let's go get a room. Have some fun. And come right back. Okay. Luckily there was a hotel across the street. I didn't know if there actually was or not, didn't get robbed, had fricked. One summer my friends and I were buying some ice cream at Baskin Robbins. There was a huge line of 15 plus people wrapped around the place. I had a cute girl serving me, I chatted her up as I ordered, and when it came time she asked if I wanted any toppings. I said, sure, I'll have some granola, blueberries and your phone number. A couple of girls behind me audibly gasped. Got the digits yo. Back in school I came into class late. The teacher wasn't there and everybody was talking. So I come in and ask jokingly. What happened? Somebody killed himself. Yes. An 11 year old Vietnamese immigrant. Awkward. I was 17 at the time. I had met a girl on WoW and we talked for probably about a year. She lived in Wisconsin. While I was living in Florida. At some point she went to visit her mother in NC after she graduated. I saw this as an opportunity and asked her if she wanted to do her first semester of college where I lived and we could see where things went from there. Of course, I had yet to tell my parents about my plan. My parents had always been incredible, but relatively strict. My dad was from a successful military background in the Air Force. I told them I wanted to drive to get a girl I had met in WoW and was hoping she could live with us while she went to school. The first thing I expected was shock and a big no, but I instead got a few questions about her, her family, and my plan to get her and then a big yes. Borrowed my dad's truck, drove 12 hours to get her, turns out she was exactly like I expected. We skyped a lot prior, once I brought her back we hit it off as good as could be. Now almost 4 years later we are married and could not be happier. When I was a kid, I jokingly asked my mom, what if Greenland was icy and Iceland was green you can imagine how I thought that was the greatest thing ever when she told that's how it really was. Not quite a full on yes but the most shocking thing that's happened when I was just joking around. It was my friend and two girls that he knew and we were driving to Safeway. I am joking around the whole time as sort of a defense system for when I am around people I don't know and in that somehow learned one of the girls was from a farm. I then jokingly said oh a farm girl did you ever bang one of the horses the response I got back was haha no that'd be gross but I have had fricked a dog. I just shut my mouth for the rest of the trip. 15 year old me, desperately wanting a ferret and parents point blank refusing, 
jokingly asked fine. Can we get a great Dane instead? Now on my third great Dane. Now on my third great Dane. You probably shouldn't eat those. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.